Hello everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov, and I have a little puzzle for you. I have a website that shows programming quotes. Every time I scroll to the bottom, it loads more quotes. Now imagine I ask you to find a quote that contains a certain text or certain word. For example, I'm sure there is a word or quote about debugging uh, right here. Everyone knows that debugging is twice as hard as writing the program. So let's say I'm asking you to keep scrolling until you find a quote with a word debugging it. How would you write this? Okay. So to write this, I've written a plugin called Cypress Recurse because we want to repeat a Cypress operation until some predicate is true. So let's install the plugin npm install dev dependency Cypress Recurse. And now let's go back to the code editor and we need to start using it in our spec file. And it's not a custom command, it's just a function that you import. And by itself, using recurse is extremely straightforward, in my opinion. You really need just two arguments. The first one is a function that does something. For example, uh, tries to uh, find a quote with a word debugging it. Now this returns a single element on the page, a DOM jQuery element. Okay. And the second function will get this jQuery object. And how do we know that we found it? Well, if the length is above zero, then it will draw true. And that's when the recurse knows to stop. So let's see how this works. Now we have a problem, as you can see, it fails right away. It fails because on the first iteration, when it just executes site contains, it runs into a trouble. A lot of commands in Cypress have built-in assertions. For example, site get, site contains, site find. They assume the element should exist by default. Otherwise, you would add an assertion. For example, should not exist. Right? If you explicitly are trying to override it. If site contains has an assertion attached to it, it will disable its built-in assertion should exist and instead will run whatever is attached. Well, we have a problem. We don't know if an element is there or not. So we cannot say should not exist. What if debug word is on the first page? So in reality, we are trying to trick Cypress. We're trying to disable built-in assertion with nothing. So we'll provide an empty callback function, right? It's a valid assertion, right? If I <laughs> uh, balance the brackets correctly. So in this case, notice, we actually ran Cyrecourse a bunch of times, right? On the first page, it did not find it. Then it uh, went to the predicate. The length was zero, so it was false. It went back to the function, tried again, and so on. Now, what's the problem? Well, we never actually scroll down to load new assertions. So here's what you can do in recurse. Now, all the extras are in an options object, which is the last argument. So you can provide a post method in the options. And this is where you can do something after you execute the function, the predicate return false. This is a function that allows you, for example, to go to the next page or load the page or make another request, or in our case, scroll to the bottom to load more items. So here's what I will do. I can scroll to the bottom, like I've shown in our videos. The problem is that we are scrolling, but then we also have to make sure that we load more quotes. And we don't know how many quotes there are, so the best way to figure out that we scroll to the bottom correctly and the quotes are loaded is to get the previous quotes using sci get quote. Okay, so we get uh, the list of quotes as jQuery. Then we scroll to the bottom and we're getting the new list of quotes again. And it should have length greater than what we have at first quotes. Okay, so in the post operation, we're getting the current list of quotes, scrolling to the bottom, getting the list of quotes again, and when they're loaded, the length will increase. 
Okay, so notice what happened now, right? And let me run this again. You did not find it, scrolled, you can see the loading, and then it stops. And it actually says remaining attempts 30, right? Remaining attempts 29, remaining attempts. So by default, there are limits and we can control all of those, right? Let's say scroll only up to 10 times. So in this case, we starting with 10 attempts, nine, eight. And notice that we're printing that the debug returns zero elements, right? So we did not find the word debug. We did not find them on the second attempt, but we did find them on uh, the last attempt. Here's a highlight in a dump snapshot. Now, I do want to actually see this quote, right? So the Cypress uh, recurse function yields whatever the first function returns, in this case, that element. So we can say scroll into view the quote that you find. And just to make sure it's really, really obvious, why don't we give this quote that it highlight, uh, that it found a highlight? So we'll invoke a jQuery method called CSS. And this is where we can say, for example, border, I don't know, two pixels solid red. Finds the quote, gives it a border so we can uh, clearly see this in the browser. And just last thing, we don't care about all these iterations and the time remaining, so we'll say log false. Okay, so this will limit amount of command logs that the recursion uh, writes into a Cypress command log. So this is how you would scroll or go to the next page or load the page until you find some particular text or some particular element on the page using Cypress recurse.